so let's suppose we want to graph the linear equation y equals negative one half x plus three. The first thing we want to do is identify the slope and the y-intercept. So the slope in this equation is negative one half, and the y-intercept is the ordered pair zero comma three. So it's important that you're able to write your intercepts as ordered pairs, so you place them on the correct axis when you go to graph. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our vertical intercept. So you can see I have a point plotted at 0, 3. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to count down the pattern of the slope. Since my slope is negative 1 half, that means that I want to travel down one unit and two units to the right. Remember, our slope is a ratio of our vertical change over our horizontal change. If I have a slope of negative 1 half, that means I have negative 1 in the numerator and positive 2 in the denominator. So my numerator number, negative 1, tells me to go down 1 as my vertical change, and my denominator of positive 2 tells me to travel right 2 as my horizontal change. So you can see I have the point at 0, 3, and then I travel down 1 unit and 2 units to the right to get another ordered pair. Now that I have established my slope pattern, I can continue this process. So you can see I'm graphing more than just two points like you would do in Math AS. The more points you have on a piece of paper, the better. So I've continued my step pattern of down one, two to the right, all the way until I cross the x-axis. That way I can accurately find the horizontal intercept. But I can still plot more points in the other direction. Notice how I'm only going down and right. Well, what about the left side of the graph? If my slope is negative one half, I can also interpret that as a positive one over a negative two. Well, now the positive one in my numerator means my vertical change is up one, and the negative two in my denominator tells me I have a horizontal change of going left two. So I'm going back to my y-intercept, which is at zero comma three, and notice now how I'm traveling up one unit and two units to the left. But I'm still falling in the pattern of the line and I can continue going up one unit and two units to the left. Once I have about five or six ordered pairs, then I'm going to use my straight edge to connect my dots and draw my line with arrows. So there's the equation, y equals negative one half x plus three, and because I accurately plotted several points and drew a correct representation of my line, I also can see the vertical intercept at zero three and the horizontal intercept at six comma zero. So the more points you have, the more accurate your graph is, and the better your chances are of correctly identifying that horizontal intercept to make sure you're crossing at the right point on the x-axis.